Okay, now what I've done is I've hooked up a meter across that resistor to measure the uh, voltage drop. And I'm going to turn the unit on now. And you notice that the LEDs are glowing. And over here on the meter, it's on the 50 volt scale, you can see that we have about uh, 25 volts across that resistor, which is a 3.3K uh, 1 watt resistor. So what I'm going to do now is uh, calculate the, the current and then compare that to what those LEDs will take and try to maximize the LED brightness. Okay, if I did my calculations correct, this is the amount of current that each LED is drawing. It's uh, one and a half uh, milliamps. And I calculated that by dividing the voltage across this, which is 25 volts, by 3300 ohms to get the total, which is about seven and a half milliamps. And then I divide that by five, the LEDs. Well, you may or may not have figured out that my battery died in my camcorder, so I've got it hooked up to the to the charger uh, to try to finish this out. What I've done is I've put a one and a half k two watt resistor. Now, two watts is overkill here, but. Uh, Partly, I just don't want it getting very hot, and that has plenty of area to dissipate heat. With a 1.5K, I uh, think that each of these uh, is going to draw a little over 2 milliamps per LED, which I hope is going to be bright enough. So let's stick it back in and see how well it illuminates the graticule on this uh, video signal analyzer. Okay, I've turned off the overhead light. I still have a fair amount of light coming from my computer screen over there. Uh, so let's see how well it lights up the graticule here. Oh, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to apply a video signal. See how well it... Uh, it looks. I think that's going to work out just fine with the one and a half K in there. And uh, so, at any rate, uh, maybe I could show you a couple of things that this thing will do. Uh, for that, though, I'm going to turn on a little more light. If you'll notice at the very top, let me turn this one off, bring this one a little further out here. At the very top there, you'll see there's a digital readout. And over here are a uh, delta bar position. So, for example, if you want to measure the, the amplitude of that signal, you'll see that it's between 59 and 60 IRE units or you can press this button down here, digital display, and read it out in millivolts. About 420 or 30 millivolts. It'll get a little more stable, I think, if I do this. 425 to 426 and do that. Now that should be 40 IRE. I'm using my uh, Sencor VG91 through an S-Video connection and that's why you see the lights on. That's the YC uh, input. If I select this the composite input, which is this one. Well, of course, there's no signal there, so it goes to zero. And then the last thing that I'll show you is the uh, the vector uh, system. And 
what this is now showing is the 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 different uh, vector phase relationships. The burst is here, this little spot, and then this out there I think is the uh, yellow. Yeah, that's yellow, and this is uh, the B minus Y signal over here on this axis, and the R minus Y signal is the up axis, and then the rest of these are the different colors, red, cyan, magenta, uh, blue, etc. So basically what it will do is it will analyze a video signal, that's one horizontal uh, line, that's two horizontal lines. Uh, it also lets you select the the vertical line, which you may be aware if you've looked at this kind of signal before, there's a some what are called uh, interval, vertical interval test signals uh, and reference signals, VITS and VIRS, and that's what you can select with this, is to look at those. It's for it allows a, a station or a uh, cable operator or whatever to adjust the uh, color and uh, uh, phase for uh, for their systems. It provides a tenth a test signal and also, like I say, a reference signal for uh, for video. For, it's basically for adjusting the color. So at any rate, I thought I would show you that. Uh, you can repair these. I like to use LEDs instead of trying to find incandescent bulbs, partly because I, I frankly don't care for the design in this particular unit of that uh, illumination system. Uh, I'd rather have something that has a bit more life to it. And you'll find a lot of these units on eBay with burned out bulbs, and that sometimes is all that's wrong with them. That was all that was wrong with this system. And I have a, a CVA uh, camera video analyzer that I did the same thing to. So it, it seems to work in all of these units that use that kind of illumination uh, for the Graticule. At any rate, I'll break everything off here, uh, except to say that, uh, except for specialized applications, like if you want to check the calibration of your of your NTSC generator or whatever. These don't really have a lot of use anymore. Uh, even cable companies are phasing out analog cable. So it's starting to become a boat anchor. But nonetheless, it was a very nice, high-quality piece of equipment in its day with, in my opinion, one Achilles heel, which was that illumination system. So I think we've now shown how you can fix that for very little money and hopefully restore one of these units to useful life. That's all for now.